Hey YouTube, got a few products to show you here out in the garage. It is literally 100 degrees out here with high humidity and uh, I don't know why I'm doing this a little crazy, but I am working out in the garage. So let me what I show you got it. These are uh, Toslink or SPDIF uh, connectors. They, I looked it up on Wikipedia and actually what, um, what SPDIF uh, identifies is the protocol and uh, Toslink is the actual connector that you know these are Toslink this is a 30 meter uh, Toslink cable very thin um, Amazon purchase um, this is a uh, a mini Toslink uh, to a regular Toslink adapter and uh, my computer here has that in the audio jack so I purchased these so I can plug the um, Toslink in um, this is a uh, this is an optical, a Toslink optical splitter. It doesn't require any electricity. Uh, they only, it only works uh, for two. I looked for a three-way, and the only three ways they had were uh, battery, uh, you know, I mean, uh, low voltage power. They had a, a power brick. So uh, that's a splitter. You can put, uh, you know, uh, one in and two out. And then the last item here um, that I'm going to be demonstrating is this. Uh, this is a digital, digital to uh, analog audio converter. Um, I have three speaker systems here in the garage. I have uh, one's kind of just like a demo one. I got a set of speakers here in the garage, and then I got a different set of speakers out on the patio. And usually they just push the same audio. And one of my amplifiers um, doesn't have a digital audio connector on it. And I mean, this was, it was, I can't remember what this was. I don't know, 16, 17 bucks. Maybe it was 20, I don't know. Um, but I'll get that and I'll put that price in the description. Uh, so anyway, let's see, let's check out, take a look at this piece of equipment here. Okay, and uh, this is the box here. Uh, you input uh, toss link or a coaxial cable, cable, and there's a power light. And then this thing takes DC 5 volts, and it comes with a uh, power um, adapter in here, I'm sure, I hope. And then basically, you can go from toss link to analog. And I'm going to feed this analog up to um, my amplifier up there, and I'll, I'll show you that a little bit later. So let's make sure it indeed does come with a power adapter. Yes, it does. It comes with a, a power adapter. And then I think this is a uh, six foot. Uh, no, there's no way that's six foot. Maybe it's three feet. Um, uh, uh, Tossling cable. And then it has a little manual. So, and again, uh, I'll get the brand name of this and I'll go ahead and promote it, uh, you know, in the, in the description. Okay, so what I have uh, for our audio source, uh, my neighbor works on electronics. He fixes TVs, and uh, he brought this over for me to play with. This is a Soundstream H500DI. It's a, it's a surround sound system or like a, a speaker box for a TV. I think it's a little bit older. They don't make them anymore. I'm not sure. Um, it has an iPod dock in the front here, and... Uh, uh, it's got it's got sub it's got two subs left and right and then there's uh, two tweeters here and the left and on the right and w what's interesting about it, the reason it it came in is is because um, the DVD player wasn't working and uh, the customer opted not to fix it and just to scrap it and then it got handed down to me and that's what I'm playing I did take the thing apart and identified that the DVD player doesn't work and I I'm sure the customer had a legitimate copy of his whole tra Hotel Transylvania CD and he was probably using this disc so um, he didn't scratch his original. What do y'all think? Okay. Anyways, here's the uh, Soundstream device that we're going to use to test and uh, I'm just going to show you once real quick the back of this device to show you uh, what the inputs and outputs look like. So uh, we've got RGB inputs and we got a uh, component and then stereo, um, you know, left and right. It's got an HDMI input. It has got an optical input. And this would be considered the auxiliary and this component in R um, RGB. And then that's for an FNM antenna. Or you could put analog right and left, or you can use optical. And the reason I decided to go with uh, the Toslink is because my... Uh, my RCA cables, I got to carry them about 20, 30 feet, and I'm getting a lot of static sound in them. So anyway, I, like I said, I'm going to put this back um, and demonstrate it. I'm going to put this back and uh, just show you all the possibilities here. 
uh, and then kind of show you demonstrating upgrading to the uh, the Toslink connection. Yes, that will work. Okay, so I'm going to turn this baby on. Let's see here, and uh, I'll have to cut that video up. Right Dropping the camera. Don't do that. Uh, so you hit the uh, function button. A USB dock tuner optical auxiliary. I'm going to show you guys the auxiliary first. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and unplug this. This is the audio, and you can hear the the uh, the sound there. Um, this is the jack. This is the uh, headset jack, but it also has the uh, mini uh, connection on it. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. Then you can hear that those kind of noises are what I'm getting that are causing some issues. And uh, let me just go ahead and uh, pull up a song here and go ahead and play it. I can hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I can hear it right now. if the fidelity is coming through or not um, but I know you guys are hearing you know you're hearing this this kind of stuff right you hear that right uh, so we're gonna start by um, you know we're gonna use the, uh, the adapter here struggle with packaging Okay, there's the adapter, and we'll use the cable that came with a digital audio converter here. And uh, I don't think this is going to actually be long enough for my needs. It will be good enough for this test here. And so then that plugged into that. And now I can plug this into the computer. Okay, and I will plug this into the uh, optical connector on the back. Oh, interesting thing here. You can see the laser light there coming out. On the, on the of that. I'm just going to show you guys here how to uh, change your audio output. So, um, so click on playback devices here. Let me pull that window in here. And then um, what you need to do is change the default. Um, so... Um, in this example, the default device is the Realtek digital output, which is the correct setting, and um, or the analog. You'd be come here and you just click set set, de uh, set default device. Uh, but in this example here, it's already set as default device. So that's how you make the change. Just right click, playback devices, and uh, set the optical as. Uh, the default device and after you set the device uh, default then it just works so we're not getting any uh, distortion anyway the next thing I want to do is try uh, the splitter um, I'm not going to put anything in the secondary right this second but uh, we'll just see how that works camera up here okay so we should be able to just take this off unplug this and we'll go ahead and separate that adapter there well it's not the easiest thing in the world to do plug this into one side and then I'll put the adapter on this. Let's see here. Now we should effectively get the same thing. Oh, no sound. So, I'm not plugged this in all the way. Maybe that was the issue. I don't have any sound. Crazy that, huh? 
I see, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I see the colored lights in there. Huh. So ef effectively that splitter is uh, stopping the signal from coming across. Um, so guys, uh, I've been playing with this for a while and I cannot get this thing to work. It doesn't work under any circumstance. And um, trying to understand why it didn't work, because when I look in this side, I can actually see, I can see the, um, the signal the light signal coming in okay um, and then I was playing with it and I was noticing and I'll, I'm gonna uh, switch over to the microscope and, and uh, kind of show you what I see over here okay because there's just no way you're gonna be able to see it with the camera here uh, but I think you'll be really surprised what you find So it's kind of do, hard to do like five things at once here. I gotta get close to the microphone, focus this, and but what you're looking at here is two fiber optic plastic cables, and the ends are just kind of melted in there. Um, and I noticed when I was trying to unplug it, just due to the fact that that um, sorry <laughs> that these uh, micro adapters here um, they uh, they're so hard to pull off that um, that uh, when I pulled this let me see if I can get this in focus and show you you can see that the they move in there I know that's not the easiest thing to see there guys uh, I can't seem to get it in focus but uh, it appears like a pretty cheaply made now for seven bucks what do you expect had it worked I would have been fine with it uh, but I can't seem to make this work you know, maybe, maybe I'll get the file on it or some sandpaper and see if I can clean up the edges and make it work. Um, probably, probably what I'm going to do is put a little super glue in there um, and then uh, file the edges flat. You know, if this is the quality on this, the problem could be the other side of the cables, which is not so easy to get to, has the same problem Okay, as well. guys, this is the other side. It looks like there's two holes and they're not drilled highly precision. And I don't know if that's two fibers in there, two fiber optic cables, I don't know. You can see one looks below and one looks above. Now I'm going to switch over to the other output and we'll see what we see there. So again, we see two fiber optic connectors. They're not centered. You know, these are just plastic, but they're not centered in the hole. But you can definitely see the hole in this one is larger. Uh, and I'll go back and show you the other one here. But it looks like there's uh, two fiber optic cables in there as well. Uh, and they're not centered. Okay, so let's go back to the other one. Definitely curious. Uh, so anyways, uh, I don't know if I can recommend this. It looks like it's pretty cheaply made. Uh, you know, after looking so at it close up. I thought about doing one more thing before I actually uh, put the microscope away. I was going to just focus on the... There's the fibers right there. Now if I turn the LED lights down, let's see if I can do that. Let's shut them off. Maybe we can see the, yeah, I don't know if that's in focus. So one, I don't know if that's a reflection or what. One appears red and the other one appears white. Let's go over to the other connector. Those are both red. All right, I'll turn the LED lighting on. This is on the lowest setting here. There, th there they are. I think that maybe that's just a reflection. I don't know. And then the other one is there. Let's go ahead and look at uh, one of the adapters real quick too. I can't really identify what that is. You know, maybe it's multiple cables in there. Either way, it works. You know, this one works. And the other one works too, and I have no problems with them. Okay, that's the tail end of it. Gosh, you know what you'd expect to see is like a, sh a sheared off piece of something. I don't, I don't know what that is. Back to the other side now. Whatever it is we're looking at, this one works. All right, we'll go back to the camera now. Now, what does seem to work well 
is uh, these connectors here, these intermediate uh, mini connectors. Uh, this is a THX uh, optical cable. I've had this for years. Go ahead and plug that in. And as you can see, we get our audio pretty quick. Um, and now, um, go ahead and unplug that. And now we'll go back to the other set of speakers here, the other amplifier here. And again, you can hear the music moving over there. So, the problem is the splitter. Um, and uh, we'll have to come up with another solution, maybe go ahead and get one of the uh, electrical ones. Um, and then, so I can finish this project. But, um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the, um, the converter, the digital analog to converter. And again, I'll use this speaker set and I'll just run these RCA cables to the auxiliary input. And then I'll just take the audio out of here, the fiber optic, uh, the, P the Toslink optics, and run it into the input. And I'll show you how that works. Now, what does seem to work well is uh, these connectors here, these intermediate uh, mini connectors. Uh, this is a THX uh, optical cable. I've had this for years. Go ahead and plug that in. And as you can see, we get our audio pretty quick. Um, and now, um, go ahead and unplug that. And now we'll go back to the other set of speakers here, the other amplifier here. And again, you can hear the music moving over there. So, the problem is the splitter. Um, and uh, we'll have to come up with another solution, maybe go ahead and get one of the uh, electrical ones. Um, and then, so I can finish this project. But, um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the, um, the converter, the digital analog to converter. And again, I'll use this speaker set and I'll just run these RCA cables to the auxiliary input. And then I'll just take the audio out of here, the fiber optic, uh, the, P the Toslink optics, and run it into the input. And I'll show you how that works. Okay, now for the last part of this video, demonstrating the digital audio convert digital analog audio converter uh, which I'll be using on my amplifier that doesn't have an optical input and so what we'll be doing is uh, going ahead and plugging this into the PC and uh, we'll plug this into the uh, the connector here oops okay plug that in and then we'll go ahead and we'll plug in the analog jacks, which they are hooked up in now. Okay, and we're powered up. Okay, let's start some music. So uh, the digital, digital analog converter does work. All right, guys, I'm going to close the video out here. Uh, my camera cut out because it was so hot and overheated, so just doing a voiceover here at the end. Uh, and at the end, uh, I started the recording. This is my first take. Uh, it was interrupted by some noise in the background. Maybe you'll hear that. So these are just some outtakes, just a couple minutes worth. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. Um, uh, promote them. Send, send them out to your friends. Uh, and uh, thanks again for watching. Larry, you hear that noise he's making? There's a squirrel out here making a horrible noise. Hey guys, I started making this video. We let Larry out, set out by the new fountain. It was a gift from a good buddy of mine. And then I kept hearing this horrible noise you may hear in the background. And uh, the squirrels like to get into my bird feeder. But this squirrel doesn't like the fact that there's a cat. Oh, dang it. He wasn't being shy around me either. He was sitting there right there on that nubbin and just making all kinds of noise. You can still, still hear the noise, but he's on the other side. There he is. He's running off now. And warning all the other squirrels that there's a cat out. <laughs>